Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Riley here with us and we are going to be doing a lesson from the Good and the Beautiful Preschool. Um, we are currently on lesson 22 and um, we probably do this like two to four times a week, something like that. Uh, and we are really enjoying it. Riley is three years old. He will be four in in four months so uh the way that we're kind of doing this is where it's just like a gentle approach to teaching him letter sounds i'm not expecting him to like pick all the letter sounds up he is definitely learning them but um we're just going slowly with it ah, i hope we're going to learn that r so the first thing it says on here is to play songs so for each letter sound they have a song on their YouTube channel that I play for him. And then they also have a um, letter sound movement activities. So the movements are like apple, they bite the apple, what? their elbow is for E, Mommy, um, things like that. It would take us a long time to get here. Yeah, it will, but that's okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna play him some of those. Um, okay, so we listened to the three songs, which took like maybe four or five minutes. Um, and then now we're going to start our activity. Okay, are you ready? Okay, it says close your eyes. Ready? Imagine that you're lying down on the grass by a lake. Suddenly you feel something soft on your nose. And then splat, you feel something a little wet. You open your eyes and you see hundreds of bubbles in the sky. Where are they coming from? We will find out on the next page. First, let's do some fun work on this page. I will tell you a letter and you pretend to pop that letter by touching it lightly with your pencil tip. So I'm gonna tell you a letter and then you're going to pretend to pop it with your finger, okay? Okay, um, can you do D? D. That's F, F, this one, remember? Good job, can you do F? Good job. Can you do G? That one's F, remember? G. Good. And what about E? Good job. So for here, you're going to draw a line from the letter. Hold on, don't do it yet. From the letter to which one it starts with. So let's start with the pictures. What is this? Egg. Egg. So what does egg start with? E, e, egg. Which letter says E, E? No, that's a, ah. eh, eh. Which one says eh, eh? No, not G. E, right? E says eh, eh. Good. Egg. And this is, do you know what this is? A. Axe. Ah. A, a, axe. Which one says a, ah, a? Ah. Good, A. Great job, buddy. And what are these? Grapes. Grapes. G, g, grapes. Which one says g, g? Good. G says g, g. Very good. And cloud, k -k -k. which one says k -k -k. good. C says k. Very good, right? Okay, now we're going to close our eyes again and imagine you're on a on the grass by the lake with bubbles surrounding you everywhere. I'm going to read you a poem, okay? Bubbles, bubbles, large and small, sailing through the the air. I reach out to catch one, and pop! It isn't there. Are you ready to find out where all those bubbles are coming from? Yeah. Okay, first point to the numbers and count to six, and then we're gonna go ahead and turn the page. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Very good. Ooh. Okay, imagine that you're on the grass by the lake. You hear a noise behind a tree, and then out steps a boy with black hair. He is holding an automatic bubble machine. That's where all the bubbles are coming from. Suddenly, the boy slips in a mud puddle and gets all muddy. You run over and help him. He thanks you and lets you use his bubble maker machine. Look at the picture of the boy. What color is his shirt? Blue. Blue. What, um, what letter does the word blue start with? B -b blue. No, oh, just think. Which one? Do you know what? What letter says b b? B, 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 right? No, no, not these ones. These are different. B, B, B says B, B, right? Good. 
What color are his boots? I mean, no, no, don't do that yet. We'll do that next. We're doing this part. Um, what, uh, what color are his boots? Yellow. Good. What color is the mud? Black. Brown. Brown. What letter does brown start with? B, b. Same as before. What was blue start with? B, b. B? B, b. Blue. B, b. Brown. What color are the boys' pants? Green. Green. What color does the word green start with? I don't g, know. G. G. Do you remember? G. Which one says g, g? G, right? G <laughs> says g, g. Good. Okay, so you and the boy become friends. He thinks you are very kind. You both decide to swim in the lake so that he can get cleaned up. I wonder if you'll see any jumping fish today. Okay, so now we're going to do this part, okay? I went for a second. Wait, hold on. No, no. Um, what letter does the word donut start with? D. D, D. Right. But what letter says D, D? Do you remember? D. D. Right? You said that. D says D. Very good. Lowercase D starts with a donut. With your finger, trace the... Hold on. Wait, wait. With, with your finger, trace the brown D, D. First you go around and then up and down. Use your finger. Right. Not the pencil. Use your finger. You're going to start in the dot and go around and then up and down. Okay, so on the circle. No, start on the circle. Oh. Good. Up, down. Good. Good job. Okay. Now we'll do this last part, okay? Okay, so we're going to say the name of each one. And if it starts with an F, we're going to color it or you could circle it, whatever you want to do. All right, so what is this? Bell. Bell. B, B. Does that say F? Like, or does that say F? f like F? B, B. B, B. Yeah. No, that doesn't say F. Um, Good job. Okay, what about... I just want to color these ones. Okay. What does this say? Fork. Fork. F -f -f. Does that say F? -f, -f like F? Yeah. Yeah. F -f -f. Fork. Good job. Now green. You want to color that one? Do you want me to get you a crayon? Yeah, but the, that's the fourth. No, that really looks like the fourth. Yeah, there you go. All right, what is this? Go. Go. G. G. Go. Does that sound like F? It does? G. G. Sounds like F. No, that's not. That's, that's, that's a G, right? That means like accent. Go. Okay, and this is a frog. 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 Does that sound like F? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Do you want a green crayon to color the frog? Yeah. So that is um, a lesson in the preschool. It's very quick. Um, sometimes he'll ask to do more. Occasionally we'll do another page. Usually it's one or two pages in there. I think Can one time it was three. Page? Uh, yes, just a minute. So when he asks to do another page, sometimes I will pull a page from this. So in here, it starts off with all of the letters uh, for them to color or paint or glue things on. And then the second half of the book. Mom, now what page are we going to do? One second, baby. I'm going to take one out of here, I think, for us to do. And then there's preschool practice Wait, sheets. Wait, is this done? That's the last part of that lesson, yeah. Uh, so so there's a lot of B and D um, confusion, which is a little bit advanced for him. He doesn't really fully do that, but this one's good to count the stripes on the tail. Do you want to do counting? Okay, we'll do this one. So there's just different things like this to practice going over what you they already have done. Money. Okay, so for this one, you're going to count the stripes on his tail and you're gonna circle the right number. One, two. Yeah. Good job. One, two, three, four. Good job. So just a couple other things I wanted to note before um, I end the video. It, like I said, obviously it's, it's very simple, which I feel like is perfect for his age. Um, not the whole thing, not yet. You did your whole lesson, though. And then uh, this course already also comes with the games. 
So uh, if he wants to do more, sometimes I will. We technically have only done the mouse house game so far because it goes through like the mouse house does A, B, C, and D. So I really try to keep it to about 10 minutes with him because one, I feel like he probably could do more. Sometimes he asks to do more, but I have to get to kindergarten work with my older son. So I don't want to sit for too long. Um, and I also feel like if we go through it too fast, he's not going to retain anything. Um, but that's the other thing I wanted to talk about too was, sorry, if it's too noisy, hopefully you can hear me, um, is that he isn't like fully retaining the letter sounds, which you probably saw. I think he was a little bit distracted by the camera, but also it is definitely too advanced for him. We're kind of doing it. I had it because I bought it for my older son and then I thought it would be nice to have to do with him. So we're not doing it to necessarily like get him up to speed or do anything like I said earlier like particular um he's gonna be four in the summer starting in the fall I think I'm gonna do the gather round letters and numbers like I did with my older son so that will go through the letter sounds again and so I think it will be just fun to do this which it has been he's really enjoyed it so um yeah that is it for this video it's probably a really short one but thank you for being here hopefully this was helpful if you have any questions, um, leave them down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next one.